As we all know, MacBook is not famous for its gaming performance and stabilization. What this Ultrabook delivers is a fast response and efficient working machine for people who work in special career like graphic design or developer. But discard all that matter of fact, many of you guys were asking me, Tommy, what did this feel like to play game on this M1 machines? So today we'll go to two different types of game. The first one is game that natively support for the Mac OS, and the second one is Windows game, which I play to a virtual machines parallels. For this video, I tested two pretty famous game, and they are CS:GO and Dying Light. For each game, I posted a separate videos on my channel, so you can watch it through the link on the description. Overall, they are both running pretty well with uh, major glitches, a 60 FPS and above. For both games, I have set to the maximum graphic options at 4K resolution. I was playing for about 30 minutes and the computer was heated a little bit, but the fan wasn't turned on at all. So as I mentioned earlier, MacBook is not known for uh, gaming. As a result, you will not find too many games that available in Mac OS operation. So I have an idea. Why don't we try to install Windows on this computer and we can test some of the Windows games to see how it goes. By using a virtual machines, I have successfully installed some Windows games on this M1. Before you ask me how can I do that, check the description for that tutorial videos. And I have installed GTA 5 and BF4. Again, I have made a separate videos about both of the game performance and I will leave the link in the description. So playing Windows game on a Mac also through a virtual machine brings you not really great experience to be honest. Both of the game are still playable at medium graphic settings like full HD but the FPS you get will only be around 30 to 50. That means if you want to play an FPS game, you should not because you get killed before you see your enemies. The temperature is also another thing that I noticed. It hit up really quick and the fans start running after 10 to 15 minutes playing game. So to condense the whole thing, I would say MacBook is obviously not for gaming. I'm talking about the great experience and stabilization when compared to other gaming computers. However, if you buy this computer for work and sometimes you just want to play some game for relax, that's totally fine. In my own opinions, I have nothing to complain about this old chat book because I believe everything is made for a particular purpose. You just need to put it in the right place. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comment what you think about this topic. I will see you in the next video.